piece of paper you can always lose. Obviously, I lost it, so. But tattoos, it's just gonna, it's permanent. I'm more, I'm a tattoo artist in Toronto. You can find me at Chronic Ink. When I was about 15, I used to draw like on my friends in class. And um, it got to a point where like, after like a couple months of drawing like with markers and pens on all my friends, so it got to a point where like, I started having appointments on my, like to draw on people in class. And it was like, all right, so it's kind of similar to tattooing. Maybe I should look into that. I went to a tattoo shop and I was saying like I'm looking to I'm looking to start tattooing and um, and do body piercings and they're like well you're too young to do tattoos but we can start teaching you body piercings and I was like okay cool it's so, like so I start going to the shop and like just hanging out like trying to like learn the business and try to like understand like what is all like what is all about and um, when I was like 18. My grandma passed away and I was like really, I told myself I really have to start like, that. I really have to start my career. And uh, I was working in a high tech company doing some computer works. I saved up some money and, uh, and I went to a local artist. I bought from him his old tattoo machine and a bunch of like colors and stuff and just practice at home, try different things, like ask different artists for like tips and ideas and things that I can do. And uh, after, and slowly, slowly, it's like I start learning new techniques, new styles, new needles, new machines, and it's like every time we just like bought something new and try something new at home. And uh, if every and the first couple of years I was working only for the summer, so I was doing two months at a time, just to just because that's a high season. So it's like I had that's the only time that they could give, give me enough work. So I would do like couple like two months at a time and sleep at the shop because I was like, too, like I lived too far from far away. So I had to like sleep over the shop and stay in my station and just wake up early and it's like having everything prepared for the day. And uh, after a couple of years, I got my name bigger and got better jobs and better shops. And slowly, slowly as I grew, I got better jobs and at better cities and better shops. I traveled a lot to like, to study different styles, to like understand more of what I like to do and understand and it's like build my social network and my reputation of like, of knowledge.